stories of the Highway Patrol. I have no reason to lie to you, I've sir. I've been doing this job for 21 years. I was the one years, that was lied to, too, not you. I was the one that was lied to. Explain that to the judge, though. A Nevada trooper questions a woman lied to the young lady. about the company she keeps. Can I give that girl a kiss goodbye? No, Take me away no, 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 no. James here? No. You seen him today? No. A West Virginia trooper goes door to door in search of a suspect. Get out of there. Just sit around here smoking cigarettes all day. A frustrated husband takes out his anger on his wife, the neighborhood, Duncan! and Kansas Trooper. These are the real stories of the Highway Patrol. We're on the road this evening with state troopers in Massachusetts and West Virginia and the State Highway Patrol in Ohio. What you'll see, they see. Videotaped on actual patrol. All units, Channel 4, Code Red for 6299 Westbound Lockwood. We got a, a Frank or a felony hit on uh, officer out by Lockwood, which is a little ways out of town to the east. Uh, what it's for, we don't know at this time. behind your back, in the middle of your back, in the middle of your back. Do not move. Don't make any dead move. Whose van is there? I know where Hank is. No, sir. How come it's stolen? Yeah, that's stolen. Because you stole it? Let go. Let go. Turn your head the other way. The officer eh? stopped the Don't van move. and ran it by the van. The van comes up stolen. There was uh, two people in it, a female and a uh, male. As we were here, a second vehicle came by a pickup truck, and the suspect who stole the vehicle was a passenger in that. Who's this, van this truck belong to? You just met him today? Where? Fernley. Fernley? No, we're not uh, criminals. We're not drug addicts. We're not violent criminals. Uh, you know, just got in a bind, that's all. True story. She, she don't know nothing about nothing. I picked her up in a, a waitress in Albuquerque. Why is she under arrest? We don't understand. We'll he talk to him. He, he helped me transport a truck. He's just a friend of mine. Oh, you nothing. know him? Uh, a year, maybe. A year? You said you just met him today. Oh, I see. But you've been a friend for a year. But you just met him today. Yeah. Oh, I see. I think that's a little misleading, don't you think? Yeah. Would you wish to talk to me at this time? Sure. OK. I have You're no... driving a vehicle mm -hmm. to the van. Who's the vehicle belong to? As far as I know, it was his vehicle okay. that he had bought it in Denver, and he picked me up. So I was out there. What'd you do there? What I do there? Mm -hmm. It was a, it's a it's a nightclub. What what was your job? I didn't have a job mm -hmm. there. I was working in a restaurant okay. out there in Albuquerque, okay. and he. So you came I from Albuquerque him. to yeah. here? Yeah, and I met him at the. He came into my work the next day, and you know, because he had a lot of money, he seemed like a nice guy, and you know, I just went through a divorce, and it looked kind of nice to me, you know. Uh -huh. And so I came out here. I never told him. Uh, yeah. Okay. She knows my real name. She's going to trip on it. Oh, yeah, you work garbage, so boss. You lied to the Dog. young lady? Dog. You <laughs> lied to the young Dog. lady? <laughs> You don't give that girl a kiss goodbye. No, Take me away no, now. no, 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 no. That's one thing I don't allow on a public highway is kissing by oh, prisoners. Oh, yes, you do. No, kissing by prisoners is strictly uh, prohibited. This is the other officer said it good. Uh, he's applied. not, that's why he, that's why he doesn't have the sergeant like, strike. No, that's right. <laughs> he says this shit. Uh, Sir? No, you can't kiss the girl. I gotta kiss the girl. No, you don't have right, to kiss the girl. Something. Take my wallet. Take my van. Take my luggage, too. Please. Here, Michael Martin Murphy. <laughs> Don't take the girl. <laughs> you're in. You're in a vehicle that's stolen. 
You're associating with him. I had no idea what was I'm going sorry. On. I we, was asked to drive it into the town. That's, and that's even fine, but I'm trying going. to explain to you. It is stolen, and you're driving it. That's for a judge to, to decide. That's well, all it is. Well, can't you decide? Don't no, you I know? cannot can't decide. You tell? I think it's pretty obvious to everybody here what happened. And and no one ever lies to a police officer. I would. I've been doing this job. I have job. no reason to lie to you, sir. I've been sir. doing this job for 21 years. I was the one that was lied to, more. not you. you I was the be. one that was Explain lied to. Explain that to the judge, though. It is not my call. My call is you were in the vehicle, it's stolen, you will go to jail. Okay? Well, let's get on it then. Mark, Mark, you gonna take these two? He's gonna do the impound. Carl, we're gonna go check another vehicle to see if it's possibly like stolen. Got it, must have. Confess, I'm guilty. Hang me. Criminal. <laughs> don't do drugs, don't got guns, aren't violent. Pretty honest guy, huh? What do you get for a stolen vehicle anyway? 20 years. No, you don't. Yep. Two to 10, two to five. 20 years. You don't neither. The suspect is being held without bond. He is also wanted in Nevada on three outstanding warrants, including spousal battery and grand larceny. Charges against the woman were dropped. Oh, it looks like a dog's been hurt. It's a dog. Dog's been hurt. What's this guy doing? Why is he running on the curb? Let's see, it might be his dog. We'll stop and check him, see what's going on. Stand by. Hey, hey, come here a minute. No, no, whose dog's that? He is. It's his dog? Yeah. When we stopped the car back there and he took off running, I assumed that he was going to get family members for the dog. And when I ran his license, he came back revoked for DUI. So she's going down here to see if he's at the house where they left their dog off. And if he's down here, then we'll just arrest him for driving revoked for DUI. If he's not, we'll just have to obtain a warrant and get him at a later time. Is this your mother or something? Or somebody mother lives here? Mother-in-law. So this is his mother? Mm -hmm. All right. She says she hasn't seen him. Come go here. here and talk to her for a minute, Dan. Hello. He's not here. No. Where'd he go to? I don't know. I had to come up and look in here. He's not here. You don't mind if I look in here then? No. All right. Come on, James. Get out of there. Come on out of there. Yeah. James. Who's James? Where's James at? I don't know. You don't know? What are you doing in there? I'm trying to tint my window. You're trying to tint your window? Yeah. I thought you were hiding from me. No. No? Uh -uh. Where's James at? Might be down with daddy. What'd he do? What'd he do? Well, he ran from me, and he's driving suspended. That's wrong. That's wrong. It sure is. I talked to him about that drinking and driving. He doesn't listen to you? No. Nope. Uh, I didn't think so. Well, I'll check down his dad's. If he runs back up here, tell him I'm go I'm looking for him, all right? Okay. All right. That guy told me that he might be at his dad's on Oliver Street, so we're going to run down Oliver Street and see if he's around there. Is James here? No. You seen him today? No. My husband's out there, though. Okay. He don't come down much anymore. Well, he's in the neighborhood, so he might come down. Okay, if I All right. I'll tell him. If he comes down, why don't you give me a call? Okay. You okay. Better come up. Headquarters just gave me a call that James called in and said that he had gotten scared, and that was the reason that he had run. And he's over at Virginia Street, so we're going to go over there and talk to him now and arrest him, actually. Got cat. Why didn't you just stay and talk to me? Well, I didn't know. I didn't want to go to jail. Now you're going to end up going to jail anyway, see? One way or another. It'd been a lot a little easier if you just stayed there. Well, I've never done anything to get in trouble or anything. I just didn't know. Okay. Come here, friend. Well, I'm going to take you down let you get a rain. You can come out tonight if you got somebody to come do your bond or something. You can get out tonight. You can plead not guilty. That's not a problem. Before we take off, you don't have anything else in your pocket, do you? Here, Melissa, why don't you go ahead and hang on to his little knife? Nothing major. Come here, Prissy. 
Uh, he ran down here and uh, called in because he was scared. And we came down, picked him up, and take him on in to get to rain now for magistrate. The driver was charged with driving with a suspended license. He was released that evening on $500 bond. He later pled guilty and was sentenced to 24 hours in jail. His suspension was extended for 30 additional days. The dog Smokey has recovered from his injuries. Yeah, yeah. He, he knows we'll watch up. Yeah, they're, they're moving dope. Oh, Next, yeah, yeah, a yeah, drug yeah. deal has no chance when a state trooper is the eyewitness. You just, did you just buy this over there? Coming up. Clean up! I'll clean up! A crazed man threatens a neighborhood. And Kansas troopers go on alert. I didn't want to talk to you. Get that preacher out of here! I don't want to talk to nobody! I'm the man. Oh, they're looking at right at me. Right at me. That guy, yeah. He, he knows we're watching. Yeah, they're, they're moving dope. Those, yeah, I can't, I ain't gonna be able to get it now. Oh. Don't know. You rent the vehicle, sir? How much you had to drink tonight, sir? One beer, probably two. How many? Two beers. You smell that strong? Your eyes are that red? <laughs> always like this. Yeah? Always like that? Yeah. Okay, why don't you grab, why don't you pull out the rental agreement for me? Okay, why don't you come on out, Walt? 24 southbound now. Who did you call up in Logan to get, uh, huh? stand back over here. Who did you call up in Logan to get an extension? Come on over here out of the road for me. Okay, did you take any medication or anything like that today? No. And how many drinks did you say you had? We got two beers. About two beers or two beers? We got two beers. Two beers? Just now? At this bar over here? Okay. okay. You had anything else to drink today? No. That's it, just two beers? Huh? Just the two beers. You don't have any weapons of any sort or anything. Could you hit that by your side? Relax, okay? I pull him over as a strong order of alcoholic beverage. I saw the cocaine in his pocket. Uh, he seemed really nervous at that time. I didn't want to let him know that I observed it. Okay. Put your right hand back here, okay? In your left hand. Face me. Do you have anything more than what's in this pocket right here? You just, did you just buy this over there? Huh? Did you just buy this over there? I got that a long time ago. How long ago? What's a long time ago? About an hour. An hour ago at that bar right there? No. What bar? I got on the street. And just, this is the only thing you have? He's a decent sized guy and he seemed really, really nervous. And uh, just to uh, avoid any complications, let him relax a little bit before I uh, put a place him under arrest. The suspect was charged with possession of cocaine. He faces two and a half years in jail and a $500 fine. He was also charged with driving under the influence of alcohol, which carries a possible 120 days in jail and a $1,000 fine. The suspect was released pending trial. Next is the true story of Kansas Highway Patrol Trooper Doug Griffiths who must confront a dangerous man armed with a shotgun. Trooper Griffiths personally reenacts his real story. You gonna get dressed today or you gonna live in those pajamas? Of course. Try looking for a job, you know. There aren't any. There are jobs. You just haven't tried hard enough. You gotta put a little effort into it, you know? You just sit around here smoking cigarettes all day. Well, I'm working hard at the hospital. You know, you could at least clean up Leave around here. Me alone. Fine. Who needs this? No, I'm out of here. Duncan Stapleton is discouraged and angry. He's been out of work for months. 
clean up? I'll clean up! Trooper Doug Griffiths is enjoying some time off with his two children. Hey, honey, phone. Who is it? It's the dispatch. Could you come and take the kids, please? Sure. Griffiths is called to work to see if he can help with the Stapleton situation. The gunman's wife is called at work. Trooper Griffiths picks her up, hoping that she can reason with her husband. Uh, this is not like him. He would never... Uh, what, what Wait happened? a minute. What? I need to know a little bit about his background. Has he ever been in the military? Yes, he, he was in the Army, airborne. When he learns that the man has had extensive weapons training, he becomes more concerned. The trooper's brother, Scott, a deputy sheriff, is one of the first to get to the scene. The gunman has fired nearly 40 rounds out of his windows, and the neighborhood has been evacuated. The trooper brings the man's wife to a neighbor's house to talk with him by telephone. Duncan! Come on in. Duncan! Come on inside. It's a lot safer. I think there's a phone around the corner. We can use here. Yeah. Come on, Duncan. Listen, we can work this out. It's not the end of the world. Why don't you just lay off me? No one's been hurt yet. I'm hurt. Put down your gun, Duncan, and come out. No. No. You're trying to trick me. No, I'm not. No. I ain't going out. I ain't talking. Duncan, don't... Norton County Sheriff Myron Cochran is hit by the gunman. Kansas troopers try to stop a barricaded gunman when we come back. He's oh, God! A despondent, unemployed man barricades himself in his house. Kansas Highway Patrol Trooper Doug Griffiths tries to get him out the man shoots a local sheriff. Duncan? Duncan Stapleton? This is Reverend Garrity. I, I just want to talk to you. Get that preacher out of here! I don't want to talk to nobody! Duncan, please! No one is going to hurt you! Trooper Griffiths is worried that it will be dark soon, and the man might try to get away. He wants to put an end to the standoff as soon as possible he decides to use tear gas. <laughs> the gunman has nailed the back door and windows of the house shut. He has no choice but to go out through the front of the house. Stop! Please stop there! Stop! Get down! Get down on the ground! Get down on the ground! Who's the jail? I said, bitch, I got shit! The gunman pled guilty to aggravated assault to a police officer and felony damage to property. He received 12 years in prison and paid restitution for damage to surrounding houses. Should have shot me, boy! Myron Cochran recovered from minor wounds to his head. He is still the Norton County Sheriff. I was concerned, worried. I can see that he had a head wound. I was afraid it might be terminal. Felt a great deal of relief once I did get there and he was able to converse with me and he was able to sit up. Doug Griffiths is now in charge of arms training for the state trooper recruits. 